What's going on everyone, Mike Gennato here, and today I want to show you guys how to make a classic Reese bass sound. For those of you who don't know, a Reese is a pretty simple sound to make. What it is, it's a really low, subby, warm, droney bass sound that's been popularized over the years in drum and bass, but really you can hear it in all genres these days. A little bit of a history lesson first appeared in 1988 on a Kevin Saunderson uh, record called Just Another Chance, and it was actually made on a Casio CZ5000. Over the years, there's been many variations of the sound, and it can be made using very many different types of synths and plugins, serum, or or any hardware synth that's out there now too. A lot of times what you'll see is to get that sound nowadays too is a lot of people will tend to stack a bunch of sawtooth waves and then chorus it and that'll get you that sound. However, today what I'm gonna show you guys is sort of the classic way of making this Reese. All right, so let's get into it. What I have up here is uh, Diva. I'm just using you know, basically the, a default patch here and there's nothing going on. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna start um, with the oscillators here and we're gonna kind of work our way across a little bit, you know, making some tweaks as we go. So first thing we wanna look at here is oscillator one and we'll keep the range where it is. That's fine. Also, you see the volume is all the way up, so that's fine. And the waveform is a sawtooth wave. So that's all good. You don't have to touch any of that. Probably what I would do right now though is go over to envelope one. Let's switch the release on and then let's change the decay um, let's turn this down a little bit so it has a little bit of release. So it's a bit too much, and then... So yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so that's good. Uh, let's move on to oscillator two. Now for oscillator two, we can do this with um, another sawtooth wave, but what I'm gonna do is switch this over to a square wave. And then this is actually gonna modulate. So let's switch it over to square wave and let's start bringing it up. So you can already hear as it's blending in with the first oscillator, how it's thickening it up. And then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna detune it a tiny bit to thicken it even more. So you can already hear, it's it's already starting to sound like, you know, a Reese, um, but obviously with the cutoff all the way up. So this sounds pretty good. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna modulate the shape and let's turn it on for oscillator two. And then let's turn this down. So you can go kind of in either direction. I like going down this way. And you can hear now what it's doing, how it's really thickening up the sound and giving it movement. So I liked it right there. So that's pretty good already, right? It's getting there. So let's look at oscillator three. Now oscillator three is going to be our sub. So let's drop this down an octave. And then let's change this to a triangle wave. And let's start bringing this up too. So that's already sounding like it. Now, a cool thing about Diva is it kind of mimics the uh, trick um, that you can do on old mini modes where you can kind of take the extra output and feed it back into its input. So that's what I'm gonna do here and turn up the feedback level so, and you'll hear it kind of like thickens up some of the low end. Of course, don't use it too much because then you start getting that. Now let's check out the filter. Now to really get that sound, let's turn this down to get it nice and warm. And let's turn the emphasis up. And emphasis is basically resonance. And what we can do is turn this up a little bit. Once Cubase is finished saving. 
adjust this a little bit. Uh, resonance might be a little bit high. So yeah, that's getting there already. And sometimes I'd like to, uh, you know, up this just a tiny bit so that the filter cutoff. So basically what this is doing is the higher note that you play, the filter cutoff uh, moves along with the note. And lastly, what you want to do is let's put portamento on it, which is glide in Diva. So you hear how it glides or slides from uh, note to note. And you can even go f further down if you want. Make it really subby. Put the emphasis up. That's a little too far. Yeah, so that's a Reese bass sound. You know, like I said, you can use it in many different genres. Here's some examples of um, how I've used it. Um, I've just put together um, a couple of, you know, examples of how this can be used in your productions. So there's uh, this type of track. This is more of a drum and bass influence type of uh, track. Uh, you can use it in uh, cinematic music. And then, of course, uh, the classic sort of techno, uh, Detroit techno sound. All right, so that's how you make a classic Reese bass sound. Thank you guys so much for watching.